Welcome back to the Uranium Fever channel. In today's Fallout 76 tutorial, I'll be showing you how to stack your tent. With a walkthrough guide and some examples of why tent stacking can be useful for events and even accessing remote locations to place your camp. Let's get started. Beginning with the walkthrough guide, let's start by making sure the tent we currently have equipped is the basic version. Stacking isn't possible with most of the special skins that have been released since. Now that's done, place your tent at least a tent space away from the boundaries of other tents, camp builds and in-game locations. It's normally better to have the tent stairs as visible as possible. I highly recommend being in third person when you're doing this as it's less time consuming and you'll have an easier job of lining the tent up. Face the tent and stand on the left side of the stairs on the fourth or fifth step down. Turn slightly to the right and in one motion pull out your quick menu and place the tent after jumping. Try to make this motion as fluid as possible with the gap between jumping and placing the tent about the same time it takes to say one, two, quickly without pauses. It's definitely worth testing this first to get your ribbon before getting too high off the ground. If done right, your new tent will place on top of where the old one was and it will move away from you and to the right by a few steps on the stairs. So place your new tent and once you hear it place, move forward while falling. If you're trying to keep your tent in the same general area, continue to place it at the same angle from the same place on the stairs. This will allow you to make a tight circle above where you first placed it on the ground. You can change the direction you're stacking the tent by simply turning the tent in the quick menu. By standing on the top stairs and facing the new tent angled to either side, this will pull the tent back towards you and the blue rug will load under your feet. Sometimes there is lag and you will fall before the tent loads. If you fall and you're high enough up, you can actually travel on the tent before you hit the ground. There is such a thing as going too high and you will not be able to reach cloud level. You'll know you've gone too far when you jump up and are teleported several units below the tent for a nice long fall. If you've gone too far up, you won't actually be able to travel back to the tent, and when you try and travel, you'll actually just start falling. Now let's discuss some uses for tent stacking. Stack tents can be really useful for events. For Scorched Earth, it gives you a platform with which to focus on any aerial targets without needing to worry about critters interrupting you. The new event, Eviction Notice, also benefits from stacked tents, as you can place it on the edge of the event between two super mutant spawn locations. Another great use for stacked tents is accessing remote areas of the map to build a camp on. In this example, we will be tent stacking to build atop this pylon. If you're on your own trying to stack tents to build up high on a location, be aware that you need to stack your tent much higher than where you wish to build, as you will not be able to place your camp due to overlapping an existing build area. Putting on some power armor or equipping armor with full damage negation will allow you to drop onto your target from very high up. The easier method though is enlisting a friend to help you with this. Bad Notions has kindly offered to stack his tent above the pylon for me. Travelling to his tent once he's done, I can easily jump onto the pylon. These actually have an invisible surface allowing you to walk around freely. Now once he's moved I can put my module down. Building on the pylon will require some blueprints which we will cover in our upcoming Build High tutorial. This will be a comprehensive guide on multiple methods to build high above the ground. We've built a lot of camps like this and over time we've changed and updated some existing methods to build high. We should be releasing this big tutorial soon so definitely look out for that if you're interested in building camps like the ones shown. And that's it for today. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Huge thank you to all our subscribers. If you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post camp builds weekly and have lots of build tutorials on the way. If you like this particular video, then why not drop a like on it as well. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.